You know, I've been thinking, and I've come to a realization we're living in a world where Animal Farm and Twitter have more in common than you'd think. <laughs> I mean, remember that book where the pigs take over the farm and become just as corrupt as the people they were fighting against. Yeah, it's like that, but with Twitter, except instead of pigs, we have, well, we have people who still use Comic Sans in their tweets. Seriously, have you noticed how some leaders use social media to stir up emotions and get what they want? It's like they're reading from a playbook written by the pigs at Animal Farm. Hey, let's create a sense of outrage. Let's blame it on someone else. Oh wait, that's just Tuesday. And then there's Christian nationalism. Now, I'm not here to bash any particular faith or ideology, but when people use their beliefs to justify actions that hurt others, that's just plain wrong. It's like they're saying, hey, God said it's okay to be intolerant and closed-minded. Yeah, because the Bible definitely says that. But you know what's even more disturbing? When people use their fears and anxieties to justify authoritarianism. It's like they're saying, hey, we need someone strong to protect us from all the scary things. Oh wait, that's just what Animal Farm was about, but with more fur and less rational thinking. And let me tell you folks, I've been seeing some crazy stuff on social media lately. People sharing articles and memes without actually reading the content. It's like they're saying, hey, someone else did the research for me. Now I can just regurgitate it without thinking. Yeah, that's not how critical thinking works. And don't even get me started on the people who say things like, I'm not arguing, I'm just stating facts. No, you're arguing. You're passionately expressing your opinion while pretending it's a fact. That's not how science or journalism work. But what really gets my goat is when people use their privilege and power to silence others. It's like they're saying, hey, I'm the one with the megaphone. You just sit there and listen. Yeah, because that's exactly how democracy works. And finally, let's talk about Trump's infamous statement about being a dictator day one. Now, I'm not saying he's actually planning to become a dictator, but if he does, I hope he brings back the good old days of Animal Farm, where the pigs get to wear suits and sunglasses, and everyone else has to do their bidding. In conclusion, folks, let's all just take a deep breath and remember that we're living in a world inspired by both Animal Farm and Twitter. And if that's not enough to give you existential dread, I don't know what is. Thanks for laughing with me. Well,